In this video, I'm going to share three different ways on how to do nail extensions at home. We will start with the easiest one and then we will finish with the one that is a bit more advanced. But it's still super easy and anyone can do it at home. I will also share a list of products you will need to do that. Coming up! Hello, I'm Anastasia. In this video, we are going to review the easiest way to do nail extensions that anyone can do at home. Mostly on my channel, I publish advanced techniques such as dual forms, nail art, sculptured nails, but I receive many requests and messages on showing something simple that even non-professionals be able to do, and this video will be about it. So there are three different ways. First one is soft gel extensions. Next one is deep powder and tips. And the last one is dual forms and polygel. For polygel and soft gel extensions, gel is included. And this is a light cured product, so you will need an LED lamp in order for product to harden. For deep extensions, you will not need a lamp. Let's start with the easiest one, which is soft gel extensions. You will need special full cover gel tips. I will be using Almond Medium by Chiara Sky, Dehydrator, some brands call it Prep, Primer, it usually comes in a kit, however, I do not recommend it for home use as it will be harder to take the nails off, Builder or Extend Gel to attach the tips, Nail File, Buffer, Orange Wood Stick, Color Gel Polish or Regular Nail Polish, Top Coat. Use Light Cured Top Coat for gel polish and Regular Air Cured for nail polishes. You will need an LED lamp to cure the product. Recommended brands with links will be in the description under the video. Before doing extensions, we need to prep the nails. This process is 100% identical for all methods. First, we need to push back the cuticles. I recommend using orange wood stick as this tool is very soft and also you can use it over and over again as long as you're using it only for yourself. It also works great for cleaning nail or gel polish from your skin. Then we need to file the nails short. When doing soft gel tips you can still have a long free edge, but if your nails are really long, it will be quite hard to apply the tips. So my recommendation is to file them as short as possible. Then we need to take off the surface shine. This is very important. We do not file the nails off. We do not make them thinner. We only need to get rid of the oily surface so that our nails will turn from shiny to matte. Do not use harsh abrasives for it. I'm using buffer, which is 280 grit buffer, and this is the one I recommend you to use as well. Then we need to find the perfect sizes for the nails. Most tips have 10, sometimes 11 sizes, and they need to be a perfect fit for your nail from one side to the other. If you take the tip and notice that it is too small, it's not going to work. Then we need to apply dehydrator and let dry. Do not proceed if your nails still look wet. Then we are going to apply a thin coat of the base coat. This part is very important. Do not go too close to the skin and do not touch it. If you accidentally do, clean it right away. Then we need to cure it in LED lamp for 30 seconds. Time to do the fun part. Take some extend gel, apply it on the tip from the other side and attach it to the nail. Slowly slide towards the cuticle, but do not go under the cuticle. Make sure the gel fills all the space onto the nail and then flash cure it for a few seconds. Honestly, this is probably the only method that is more comfortable when you're doing this to yourself compared to someone else's. So once again, we flash cure it for around 10 seconds, then you take it off the lamp and if some gel squeezed to the side walls or to the other side of the nail, you can simply clean it like that. If you will fully cure it right away for one minute, then the gel will harden and you will not be able to do this, so the only way to fix it will be filing. And this is quite hard and sometimes painful. That's why I recommend to use freeze cure method. Once again, we press onto the tip, make sure there are no bubbles or empty spaces, then we freeze cure for 10 seconds in LED lamp, then we clean the extra using orange wood stick or a tissue with alcohol, and then we cure it again for one minute. 
This is definitely the easiest and the fastest way to do extensions for yourself. Just make sure that each tip is looking straight, that it is not making your fingers look crooked. After curing, you need to clean it with alcohol. Do not forget about the other side because some gel might be squeezed out from there and it may feel sticky. Do not worry, just make sure you clean it all. And by the way, using a glove on your opposite hand is a good idea because this is how we protect ourselves from a skin contact. We don't really need to shape the nails because this is the whole point of soft gel extensions. They are already shaped, but sometimes I just want to get rid of this dot that is on the very edge of the tip. Or if for some reason you would like to slightly reshape them, just feel free to do that. I recommend using 180 grit file. Then it's time to apply the color and you can use anything you want. Regular nail polish, it is going to work just fine right on top of the tip. You do not need to apply a base coat or anything else. Just go right with it. Since we just did soft gel extensions, which means you already have an LED lamp, it is probably a better idea to use a gel polish because once you cure it in the lamp, you're good to go. I decided to use this beautiful pearl, they're called Ombre Gel by Exclusive Nail Couture, and I'm using a different color on each nail. The only rule that you need to remember if you're using regular nail polish on top of the tips, then you need to seal them with a regular air cure top coat as well. But if you decide to go with the gel polish, then you need to apply the color cure it and then you will need to use a gel top coat as well. This is the method that I will be using on myself so I will show you all the details. Each brand and even every single color might look different depending on the nails. So sometimes one coat will be enough, sometimes you will need two or even three coats. Just make sure you are not applying them too thick because they may not fully cure and you need to cure every single layer. Let's say I apply first coat, then I cure it for 30 seconds in LED. Some brands require 60 seconds, so you need to read the instructions first. I decided that one coat for this color will be enough. That's why next I seal it with a top coat. If you're using gel top coat, you need to read. If it says no wipe, or tech-free top coat, that means you just apply it, you cure it for 30 seconds in LED lamp, and that's it. It's glossy and you're ready to go. But some top coats may be not like that. They may have this tacky layer, which means after you cure it, it feels sticky. Do not worry. All you need to do is to take a wipe or a cotton pad, alcohol and clean the stickiness until the nails are clean and glossy and this is it but with a no wipe top coat you do not need to do that you just cure and this is it Ta-da! we just did soft gel extensions next one is deep powder plus tips this one is a bit more advanced because we will need to work with tips and also to apply the product on top of the nail. For deep extensions, you will need color deep powder, at least one color. I also recommend to get clear. Regular tips, I will be using clear by Harmony. Dehydrator, or some brands may call it Bond. Base coat, activator, some brands call it Seal Protect, and a top coat. And keep in mind that these are not the same base coat and top coat we used for soft gel extensions. These are air cured. You will also need a file, nail glue for the tips, buffer, and orange wood stick. Nail prep process for deep extensions is exactly the same, so you can come back to watch the soft gel extensions. Now we need to find the perfect tip, and unlike full cover tip, this one will go only to the free edge of the nail. However, the size should perfectly match. I applied some glue on it, and then I press it really hard and hold it like that for around 10 to 20 seconds. 
Then I'm going to cut it short. You can also use the file to do that. And next thing we need to do is to take off the shine from the tip and also ideally to level it up with the nail. But please be careful with that. Ideally, we should not touch the nail at all, only the tip. Then we apply dehydrator, let dry, and then I apply the base coat, the special base coat for deep extensions, but not all the way up to the cuticle, only around two thirds of the length of the nail. And then we put it inside of the dip powder. You do not really need to hold it for a long time, just carefully put it inside and then you need to take off the excess powder. You can put it right back into the jar since you're the only one who's going to use it. Then you can get rid of the excess powder and glitter. This is what it looks like from the side view. And we need to repeat the process. I'm doing this on my thumb and I have rather large nails and this is quite a long nail. That's why I will need to do a couple additional coats in the middle. But if your nails are smaller and most people have smaller nails than I do and also you are doing them short, then you will be good just with a two or three layers total. Then I get a little closer to the cuticle, but not all the way yet. And technically I just repeat the process. I just dip it in the powder jar and get rid of the excess again. And only after that, I'm going to get closer to the cuticle. It is very important to apply the base coat on the entire nail. And then you need to quickly dip it in a jar. Do not wait for too long. Remember that base coat is air cured. So if you will wait for quite a while, it is going to harden and the powder is not going to attach to the nail. Looks like now we have enough product on the nail. Once again, we get rid of the extra using some soft brush. And then once you get rid of it, you need to apply activator and wait for around two to three minutes. If you have doubts whether it is fully cured or not, just take an orange wood stick and then you need to hear the hard sound. I mean, your nails are not supposed to feel sticky or soft at this point. If you accidentally missed some spots, then you need to apply activator again and wait for a couple minutes. Then it is time to file and shape the nails. Deep nails are quite hard to file, so you may use 180 or even 150 grit file. And then I recommend you to buff it to a high shine. Some brands also recommend to use activator again before sealing it with a top coat. And I personally recommend you to do that as well. And this is the trick I also use. I apply activator again, wait for a couple of minutes, and then I buff it again with a soft buffer, which is 280 grit abrasive, which means it's very soft. Then I decided to add some nail art because I just thought it's a bit boring having this silver hollow nail. This is called spider gel. So I'm using a dotting tool and simply stretching these lines. As you can see, I'm not even hand painting them. So this is actually quite an easy way to create easy abstract geometrical designs. Every time you use gel products, you always need to cure them in LED lamp and the last step is sealing with the top coat. For deep extensions, you do not need a lamp. I used a lamp only once to cure the design, but this design is not necessary. To do the nails, you do not need a lamp. And the top coat is ear cured too. And by the way, I prefer using two coats to get a better shine. And the last but not least is Dual Forms Plus Polygel. This method requires a bit more product application and skill, and I also recommend to have at least a home use electric nail file. If you do not have one, you will have trouble filing product underneath the nail. So maybe two ways I shared earlier will work better for you. For dual form extensions, you will need a set of dual forms. Polygel, or some brands call it acrylic gel, acrygel, at least one color. Polygel liquid, or you may also use alcohol instead. File, buffer, orange wood stick, and a gel brush. You will also need an LED lamp to cure all this. 
nail prep is exactly the same as in the previous methods and then we need to find the perfect size of the dual form. It is very similar to what we did with soft gel extensions, but with dual forms it should be slightly bigger than your nail because the product will go under the form and then we are going to take it off. It is not staying on the nail like full cover tips. That's why they should be slightly wider, but not too much. Sometimes when we're picking the right dual form, it seems okay with the size, but the shape of the cuticle is different. And you can use a regular manicure scissors, cut it and change the shape of the cuticle because most cuticles have a rounded shape. And sometimes I notice that most dual form have more like a square shape, which matches only the thumb. Now it looks perfect, perfect size and perfect shape of the cuticle. Then I am going to use dehydrator and primer. First apply dehydrator, let dry, and when you apply primer you will notice that it is a bit sticky. Do not touch your nails at this point. Then we need to apply a base coat and cure it in LED for 30 seconds. Then we need to squeeze out some polygel from the tube to the other side of the dual form. And using the gel brush and a little bit of alcohol, we need to apply the product underneath the dual form. Do not apply too much product to the sides and near the cuticle area. The thickest part should be in the middle of the nail. And now the most challenging part, we need to install it on the nail. Slightly press it similar to like we did with soft gel extensions and slide towards the cuticle but do not go under the cuticle. Before curing, if some product squeezed out from the sides, you may fix it right away. Do not rush with the curing until you are 100% sure it's all good. You may also fix the nail underneath, just do not press too much. And then we are going to cure it for one minute. Then we take off the dual form and ta-da, we have a perfectly shaped nail. Well, well, we'll still need to work on it a little bit, but actually it's ready. Once again, we apply base coat, cure it in LED for 30 seconds, then we take some poly gel to the other side of the dual form and do the application. Since poly gel and soft gel and anything with the word gel means it is light cured product, you can use the similar prep products, let's say base coat or top coat. You can use the same one, both for soft gel extensions as well as poly gel and dual form extensions. However, like I mentioned, I think this method is the most advanced as you need to apply the product inside of the dual form. So this one takes a little bit more patience and time. After curing the product for one minute, we need to take the sticky layer off, which is underneath the nails. You may use the wipe and alcohol, and then we need to slightly file and shape the nails. And you can do it with a hand file, but usually it's quite hard. So if you have electric nail file, it will be way faster and easier. Filing the shape is not a problem with a hand file. But filing the product underneath, like I'm doing now with the carbide bead, is quite a challenge. So like I said, if you do not have an e-file or you have no idea how to work with it, I recommend you to use soft gel extensions or deep powder extensions instead. Using electric nail file is not just a way to do it easier and faster, but you can also reach some areas which are almost impossible to reach with a hand file, such as this line closer to the cuticle or underneath the nail. This allows us to make the product super smooth and to get rid of some excess product. When shaping nails and filing the sidewalls, I still prefer using a regular hand file. 
for polygel 1a degree it will be enough but the great thing about dual forms is that you don't really need much to shape you just need to make sure that they all have the same length that they have the same shape of the free edge let's say now i decided to do a square shape and that's it then we may buff the nails with 220 buffer just to make sure the edges are not too sharp and the last part is sealing with a top coat this is gel top coat as well mine is tech free which means i simply apply it cure in led for 30 seconds and then we have a beautiful high gloss shine and we do not need to take off the tacky layer and this is it this was the third way of doing nail extensions at home This was an overview of the easiest ways to do nail extensions at home. I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments which method works better for you. Which one are you going to try first? Thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.